This is Mr. Prepper. Currently available on Steam, $19.99. It is basically a slightly more in-depth point-and-click adventure. Uh, you have a little bit of freedom in terms of uh, expanding your shelter that you can see right here. Uh, I only have two floors. I've been playing this game for three hours. I get the gist of the game loop, and I know that this is going to be a massive hit or a massive miss for a lot of folks. For me, it is so tempting to keep going. Uh, because the game trickles out information, trickles out a task, trickles out things to you, and you get that little bit, you're just like, okay, one more day, one more day, one more day, just like Fallout Shelter, just like Oxidot Occluded, like just a little bit more. But it definitely leans a bit heavy on the point and click adventure side, which makes it come off a bit clunky. So, for example, I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna check my mail. All right, I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna click on it. Double click, I got money in the mail. Take, oh, cool, I got a little inventory here. We're gonna explain all this stuff in a bit. But, the core goal is to get inspected by the government and not let them see or discover that you have a massive shelter going, which will eventually evolve to have huge greenhouses and development facilities and furnaces and all kinds of crazy stuff while still maintaining what's going on up here. So I started this, I wanted to start this today in game today because I uh, in game tomorrow is when I get my next visit. Uh, now, one thing I don't know for sure is whether or not me holding the pickaxe is going to matter, uh, or holding the, the 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 bat is going to matter. <laughs> I don't. I didn't find a way to actually put it down, <laughs> so I figured like, ah, eh, maybe is a change weapon. Uh, I see, move can quick grab boost to drive yeah, drive dive boost. Yeah, there's there's nothing that I saw that was like just put it away. Uh, maybe you. We could try that. Let's see you. I mean, I wonder if I wonder if it'll even matter. Well, let's go ahead and get. Uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and get. You should go to sleep. Let's go go to sleep and see what happens the next day. Uh, so, yeah, two and a half, three hours on my dad into the game. Um, I do look forward to these inspections that we're gonna get. Oh, it's one more day. One more day. This is the fourteenth. Okay, cool. This gives me time to kind of prepare you guys for what's gonna happen here. Um, so you can see I've already gone through two weeks in game now. And now it's Sunday, and then tomorrow is when I get the inspector come through. Now the inspector is going to look for a number of things, um, like literally a number of things in different categories. He's also going to look to see if you have anything that is contraband. It's a very, it's a fascist government. You can see the, uh, you know, was this a bless the president or whatever? And we could read this. We could also turn it over. And this is where our ultimate plan is to escape. Uh, we we'll go ahead and read this. And this is where it tells you. This basically gives you the the guide to building your ultimate rocket. Now I actually have some resources I could throw in here right now. See, fifty. Oh, I don't have fifty though. Ten glass. I have ten glass. We throw ten glass in there. Um, can I leave it there? I wonder. Probably not. Um, I don't want to risk it. <laughs> uh, it doesn't weigh anything in your inventory, so it's not that big of a deal. Which is funny because everything else has weight except for like the items that you know, giant pallets of rock and all that stuff. Uh, never leave this thing exposed, please, because you know you will. Uh, you will inevitably, like as I have, um, forget, and then they'll go up there and see it, and then you're busted. You go to jail. Um, so, all these cabinet doors and everything, you can open them up. You can put things inside of them if you want to, right? We can hold down control to speed things up a little bit. Okay, so you, you can put things in here if you'd like. Uh, if you look at this right here, you see this lamp, and it says safe quantity one to three for all items in the category lamp. That means that he's gonna be looking for one to three lamps. Um, I don't think that includes ceiling lamp. Yeah, it does include ceiling lamp. So as long as you have one to three lamps in the entire house, you're good to go. You're probably wondering, well, what does that matter? Here you go, plant. Safe quantity, zero to four. Okay, so you gotta make sure you have zero to four plants. So what, what does it matter that you have zero to four? Well, I'm gonna show you. If I grab this here, and then I'm gonna uncover this, then I'm gonna go down here. Oh, there's a newspaper out there. Um, I can take that glass, or take that, um, that planter. Uh, let me see. I haven't had to do this in a minute. And then I could disassemble it. And when I want to get from it, I'll get ground. So I'll get ground from it. Not really useful. <laughs> I already have enough, I think. Also, you get a ton of ground from building, which I'm going to show you right now. Let me go and get away from this thing here. So if I want to expand my 
structure it a little bit more, uh, I can do that just by basically expanding in either direction, and I'll get a ton of rock and stone out of it. Let's go this way, actually. Um, and we'll extend this out. There we go. Actually, it's not a lot. Let me see. Let's do that. Build. And you'll see how long it takes to do any of this stuff, right? So basically, it's like... Duh, 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 and you can see the time up here is going, right? And you can see that I have... Uh, I'm, 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 I have health and I have hunger. Or, sorry. I have my tiredness level and I also have my, my hunger level, basically. Um, and I'm also getting a ton of dirt from this, too. That's why I said the plant was kind of useless to go ahead and do that, too. Uh, my preparedness level is going to get low. Once it gets low, then I actually start taking a bigger hit. You can see right here, it says, in bad condition. You get your stamina and health over 50% uh, to get in good condition. Your preparedness is decreasing. All right, so we'll go ahead and step away from this for a moment. Oh, cool. They put uh, some uh, scaffolding up there. Um, and then I can do is open eye here. And then I got 25 pieces of dirt. Now, we could sell this dirt. Oh, I don't have food on me. Whoops. Okay, let's go up and get some. Let's go up a little more quickly, though, bye. buddy. Buddy, 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 buddy. Double click and hold control. Sprint over there. And we'll go ahead and eat some of uh, this blueberry jam that I prepared and maybe some shrooms. Probably just sack that and eat the small snack. There you go. I should eat them all. There you go. Let's go see what this young lady over here wants. We get neighbors that sometimes come around. She probably doesn't care about carrying a bat, right? Let's get this, this letter here or this newspaper. Grab. There we go. What does she want? Good day, neighbor. Hello. Shall we guys uh, want to sleep through the night every time? You said trouble, okay? So what's your selling here? Yeah, exactly. Bless the president. Very odd, huh? Interesting. So there are going to be little interactions that you're going to have with people. Let's go over here. As a matter of fact, um, what we're going to do is we're going to sell. We're, actually, I don't know if I have anything to sell. Uh, like, oh, here we go. Dirt. So we'll sell this. I think you have a max you could trade at a time. Yeah, so I have 10. So I basically maxed out with that. Uh, and then I could use it to buy more resources. By like, for example, let's say if you like desperately needed some resource like plastic or something, you went through and you dismantled all of your small green boxes or small blue boxes or whatever in the house, you can go back and you can buy a whole bunch before it's time for the uh, inspection. And you sometimes will get to that point where you're like, I really need blank. I really need blank in order to craft this, this, or whatever. Um, and we're going to do some crafting today, but for the most part, we're going to focus on the uh, game loop where you leave the house because the expansion of your your shelter is one thing the core game loop the, though does also include a uh, major part of it is leaving the house and going and exploring other things like the mines or the forest and all that stuff so we're taking a little bit of a tour um let me see nope okay that's pretty good so we'll trade that and there's a timer that's gonna pop up and it says you know 200 seconds basically and that goes pretty quickly uh let's go ahead and go over here we're gonna take the um i take the water out of here and then store it down here because uh, I had a day where I actually didn't have water. So we'll just take it and we'll store it in here. And deposit all. Boop. Perfect. Those those chests or these containers you can craft and they just um, they just hold basically as an infinite amount of weight. Your character, however, has a limit how much weight you can hold. As a matter of fact, um, I'm going to show you guys how you can progress your character. Okay, so let's see. It's very, very dark in there. So we're going to go over here to this. Here comes the mailman. Mailman's pretty chill. Gives, he gives us some inside information. Everybody here is kind of like weird, you know? It's very, um, it's very much like, who can you trust? McCarthyism kind of thing, you know? It's like, <laughs> oh, he, oh, he left. Oh, that sucks. Usually he gives you some tips, you know? He's just kind of like, hey, I saw that the at the embassy or at the, you know, the, the fascist office or whatever it's called, the embassy, I think, um, they had, uh, uh, they were quite busy yesterday, which is really weird, you know? So he gives you some information. He's pretty cool. Uh, all right, so you know, I'm tired of short nap. Okay, well, uh, let's see. Do I have my, oh, I don't have mommy. Damn, okay. Well, we don't pass out. So cool, check this out. Boom. All right. Too many things are using electricity. Crap, I didn't know that was a thing. <laughs> I'm still learning. So here you can check the percentage of electricity being used. Gotcha. Electricity supplied by the government is very limited. I see. I see. Now you have to turn something off to get power back. Okay. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and turn this off. Get my power back. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Power off. I think I, I think it worked, but I'm going to go and take it. Uh, my character is getting very, very sleepy. So let me see if I can't go up here and fix this thing before he passes out. Okay, can I trip this? Overload none of power. Okay, let's go take let's go sleep for the night. Oh guys coming tomorrow morning. Oh shit. This is bad. Okay, first let's go over here and get a drink an energy drink. We'll eat an energy drink, I guess. Uh it gives us a little bit of time to uh, figure out what we're gonna do here. 
let's just do this. Let's go back over here to this area, and we're just gonna grab this light. You want me to grab it? Huh? What? Hmm. Oh, okay. Hmm. Weird. I wonder if there's um, if there's an issue with the distance to this. Let me try if I grab this thing again. Ah, okay, okay, we're good. So let's go and put one of those back up. Uh, we have to be we have to be clean for this inspection tomorrow. I didn't realize that was a thing. Dang, that's crazy. Okay, so we're good. It's getting late, 10 o'clock at night. I have plenty of energy, of course. I have a bunch of rocks in here, but you can't see them because the lights. There you go, you can see. I just didn't know where to put them. I didn't realize I could just throw them inside of the uh, the bins at the time. So now I just have two, <laughs> two rocks just chilling in there. Um, boy, I have to do something about power. Wow, that's a new thing for me. Let's go over here and take a look at this and see if there's anything in here that I can craft. I know I have to get to workbench level, so I have 15 metal, 17, and then 20. I have plenty of wood and stone. I just need more metal. I need to be able to process that metal, though. Hmm, that's where I'm going to run into a problem. Ladder. Wait, we're already taking the ladder out of that thing. Or taking the, the light out of there, so there's no point in going back. Uh, I could dismantle a couple of things to get metal. I mean, like, for example, these barrels. Oh, wait, do I have anything to dismantle, though, that uses metal? Hmm. Mm hmm hmm. All right, let's go. First, let's go over here. Get our money out of this. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna cover everything up. Make sure everything's chill. Um, then I'm also going to. I think it was Huntress. No, uh, who was it that gives me the books? Nope. Ah, oh, that's right. This guy has all the books. Uh, so I have 199 dollars, and it's a very slow build in terms of getting money. It does take time. Uh, lots of trading back and forth with these neighbors. Some of them are, you know, clearly like kind of trading under the table kind of thing on the DL. Uh, so let's see. Builder book, extreme shelter makeover, learn how to build rooms faster. It's cool. Uh, let's see. Hortus can learn how to plug, uh, how to grow plants faster. Uh, the Atlas Jack to carry more weights. Handy persons, learn to craft faster. Okay, so uh, let's go with weight just because I could use that and then we'll trade that. Um... I have some water saved, and it's got a little bit of time before it's before uh, nightfall. What is this? What are these seeds here? What if I have any proper seeds I could go ahead and plant? What is this? Grab. This is uh, cucumber seeds. Okay, plant them to grow cucumber. Cool. This is gonna be an opportunity to show you guys how to plant cucumber. Is it one per? I wonder. Oh wait, does he need a plant? Oh, it needs a planter. So never mind. I can't do that either. <laughs> Let's go take a look at this. We see uh, corn. Okay, need a planter. Ah, here we go. Cabbage. Cool. Just need something to show you guys how it works. I'm not at the point now where I'm making planters and greenhouses and all that stuff, so... Let's keep going. There we go. I know, he's so sleepy. Okay, so we could basically double-click on this. And then plant this. We also quick plant, but I didn't do that. Real quick, before I pass out, let me grab one water, separate one water. One. Boom. Uh-oh. Characters getting tired. Oh, that's right. I can switch tabs. Then we'll water this. Cool. Now we're going to go up. We're going to go to sleep. Oh, before we do that, though, we have to cover this up. Now, I know you're probably thinking, like, oh, just get caught so you can see what it's like. Uh, it basically just says you're, erased, you're arrested. He'll, like, say something to you, like, oh, it looks like you're trying to escape again, right? Then you get arrested. What's this day? The postman is missing. Oh, interesting. Okay, so those are days we can't use the post, post service and sell or, or anything like that. Now I am like super early in the game, but I will tell you, I will tell you that I feel like I am grinding uh, to get up there. Like it is taking days. Uh, it's just a start. So what does this mean? Two weeks? You get to day 15. Yeah, it's serious. And it's not kidding. It is just a start. So he's gonna come walking from off screen over here. I think the music changes when it does. Uh, so you can't leave the house on this day. Um, and we'll go over here and just... I really hope he doesn't care about the bat. <laughs> now the game does save every morning, so I guess if I do get caught, it could just go back one day. Not ready. Oh, you can't. Sorry, you can't retrieve it until it's full. Let's see. Oh, mail. Mm. Okay, let's go talk to our boy here before the uh, before the feds show up. Some graffiti appeared around town lately. Weird slogans on staying awake. Clumsy drawings of eyes. Senseless vandalism, if you ask me. Mhm. Mm I'll go and take this book to make me swole. I'll go and read it. Here we go. Now here's our character page. You got a brief glimpse of earlier, um, and you can see, yeah, it's uh, this is my first skill. So Alice Jack. So you can see, there's a number of skills. So there's a lot of stuff to do in this game. And I, clearly, I am very, very early on. Uh, this is your journal. Just basically tells you the different things that you can do. Upper upper right corner kind of covers all that. Uh, what does this mean? Hmm, I'm not sure. 
I'm not sure exactly what that means. Maybe I'm not being seen or something like that. Like there's no enemies, no uh, NPCs or anything. Uh, let me just double check, make sure I have everything covered. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, power. Yeah, wow, power. I didn't realize that was such a thing. Was, I, everything here has power. I guess I could go through, I could power off certain things to kind of to make power for uh, for downstairs. But then that just and then you're getting to the point where you're just continually adding more things you have to do. I'm sure there's probably a breaker or something like that, that you could put in to separate the fuse box here and downstairs so you can uh just like basically turn off everything in the house and then oh my character's so unhappy right now god jeez such such a baby eat let me see i don't have anything i can really cook either just to kind of give you guys that kind of demonstration but let me see cook yeah nothing if i had a bunch of blueberries basically just be able to make you know, make blueberries uh roasted rat meat we're gonna leave as soon as this guy gets here well after he's done inspecting we can't leave while he's here we have to stand there and watch him do it like a child. I thought that might have been him. Now your food does have a shelf life. So you see this one's already uh, orange. The carrot is orange. Uh, it will it will rot over time. Uh, I haven't seen it happen to, to energy drinks or anything, but everything else does seem to have a shelf life. Is this guy going to come today? Come on, dude. 8.43 or maybe 9 o'clock or something. Let's go and speed things up a little bit. Okay, he's taking forever. I'm going downstairs. I'm gonna regret this. How's this thing doing? Good, good, good. Let's see, craft. Uh, is there anything I can dismantle? Wall lamp. Okay, I can disassemble the wall lamps and everything. Might as well go and do that just because I can hold the wall resources and it doesn't take up any weight. Um, let me see. Yep, that's mine. Basic unit of fuel. We're gonna take that down into. Actually, I'll put two of them down here. Just for looks. <laughs> oh, actually, I could put them, like, I could stack them together too. That was kind of the wrong way to do that. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna take this into the mine when we're done. I'm just carrying, you know, carrying five, you know, five gallon things of, of fuel <laughs> in my pocket, along with like pallets of, of uh, plastic and stone and soil. He even makes a joke about it early on. He's kind of like, how funny that all this stuff fits in my pocket. <laughs> uh, all right, let's see. This is the day, right? Gosh, I thought today was the day, man. It's not safe. What do you say? What do you say? Oh crap! I missed what he said. Okay, let's see. Trade. Somebody. Somebody wants this. Uh, let's go and sell some of the soil. Make a little bit of ching there. Now they limit you, of course, because you could very easily get a ton of soil and just sleep and get more soil and sleep and just repeat. Lather, rinse, repeat. Okay, so we could pick up some more cabbage here. So I think I could really plant for myself. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna cover this up for now. This dude, taking up my time, I'm taking a nap. Restores your health, or restores your uh, energy. Here comes, <laughs> here comes my dude here. Let's go see what's up. What's up, man? The rumor is that Mr. Johnson woke up in someone else's bed last Saturday. He swears he doesn't know what happened. Mrs. Johnson is not having it. Now, he's already told me this, so this is the first time that I've seen that there's uh, a loop. Uh, there's a repeating thing, so um, I do wonder now if what he was talking about with so much hustle bustle at the uh, embassy, uh, if that was, if that's actually something to even be worried about, right? All right, let's see. Yeah, this is turning red now. Come on, man. Alright, let's go downstairs, plant some seeds, while we wait, whoops. Click on cover. Like I said, we'll know, the, um, the music will change and all that. Quick plant, quick plant, quick plant. Oh, okay, so I've only got, oh, I only got the three, that's right. Do I have water on me? Let me see, water. Not ready, water, yeah, ah, that's right, yeah, water, that's right. <laughs> All right, we're gonna water these guys. Now I've actually I haven't actually harvested anything because um, I don't think I've harvested anything because I I just let I accidentally let, let it rot so it will rot down here. Again, another thing you have to manage. Um, so the game does have a lot of uh, uh oh, that's it. We gotta go. We gotta go. Okay, let's get rid of that window. It's a side window here. The crafting. 
no, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, cover. Okay, and we have time. Why is this thing stuck here? There we go, tab. Okay, I uh, hope he doesn't mind that my pickaxe is in my hand. So here he is. He's gonna do his inspection. Check out the contents of this room. Totally routine. Just routine procedure. Mm-hmm. And then he'll give me a report. Now, if I fail, or if, I, if I'm a little suspicious, then uh, he'll come back tomorrow and inspect again. But yeah, he's looking for, I mean, even this thing probably has yet to have one of these, right? Seems very decent at first class. It's all in the details. I've already, I, I already took out a whole bunch of my plates and everything to make some glass real quick. There he goes. And now, the verdict. Hmm. Citizen, what is it you have here? Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, dang it! Okay, well, a little suspicion level, because of damn pickaxe. I need to get prepared, bro! <laughs> All right, so he saw me carry holding the pickaxe. So now we know that they do see that um, Postman doesn't seem to care. Neighbor lady doesn't seem to care um, Here's a postman as a matter of fact. It's just strolling on over What's up? Unreceived mail is piling up the mailbox of Bob the former teacher. Has he gone on vacation or something? Uh oh, he's probably just been taken into an internment camp of some sort uh, Water control warning. Oh, okay. The Minuteman. So the Minuteman seems to be the main progression point. There's a lot of other points that we're going to get to. Well, a lot of other um, people that you meet that will help progress like side stories and also give you um, pieces that you need to progress the main story. Um, everything's kind of intertwined. Uh, but this guy seems to be like, once we give this guy things that he's asking for, I have a feeling this is going to be the dude who's going to take us into like the next... You know, the upper echelons of this game in terms of preparation for, you know, nuclear fallout or whatever. Just a quick note, the source of my ages tells me that water usage will be added to the things checked during an inspection. Oh, excessive use may be noticed. Please pay attention. Oh, snap. This is why, this is why I've been, I've been sticking all my water out. There we go. All right. And so we'll, we'll just put it right there on the ground. All five. There we go. We'll just try to... Uses this oh gosh, I, I'm sure there's gonna be a well and all that stuff that we're gonna, we're gonna get to Let's go ahead and get out of here. We could double click on that too, by the way um, So let's go to the mine first. Let's go to the forest. Just gonna give a tour there The forest is the first place you're gonna be exploring uh, and I feel like there's more to explore as well um, We go into the woods here now you could you could come out here and you can uh, grab some berries hold on control speed things up Over here got some more berries you can grab wood out here also we go and you you have to find a lever in order to work this system here um that will allow you to go to the next level so when i go level two you notice that there's like four more levels after this right so the the these are just two oh i have a lever for this actually i repaired oh i don't have it on me uh oh i need 15 metal and one lever yeah see that's how they oh man my food turned into crap that sucks that sucks. I could have just eaten it as is. Thankfully, there's lots of berries out here. So now we're on level two. There are enemies that you can fight. Uh, they're mostly like just wildlife, wolves, and um, rats and whatnot. Let me see if I could find one. I don't think so. Thankfully, it's really easy to get out of here. You can't hunt those deer. Well, not yet, anyways. Oh, let's go back. Let's go through here. Get this. It's late. I didn't see any wood anywhere, though. Danger. Mm -hmm. The only thing on the other here is some old lady's house. Who's part of the story? I mean, we'll go through it anyways. I think it's supposed to be here. But you see what I'm saying, right? Like, it, it, it does feel very much like a point and click. Because, I mean, there's a lot of pointing and a lot of clicking in order to get anything done. Your character, you click somewhere, your character moves over there, right? Um, you can inspect these things and get stuff from them, but there's nothing for us to get right now. And then we'll just go ahead and move over to here. This old lady's house. I wonder if she's home. 
Now you have to do something for her uh, as part of your... Actually, she might actually have uh, what I need now. Do you have what I need? Oh, what else do you need? Huh? Does she want something else? I forgot. Uh, let me see. Me and Bob will be grateful. Mmm. Bob's your husband. Oh, wait a minute. I know where Bob's at. Bob's in the mines. Okay, so there. Hmm. Uh, let me see. Got to get rope way into the forest. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not sure if she needs. Oh, uh, probably berries or something. Hold on. I think it was in my journal. Let's go ahead and pull up the. Um, eight. Oh, Garana from the forest. Okay. Yeah. So you need to repair the rope way. Get to level two. Yeah. So again, this is the game loop, right? Like you're you're basically um, doing a series of things on level one, and then you go. Then you get the item or you can find the item by exploring level one in order to unlock level two um and it just basically progresses just like that uh we need to get home mm, there we go Boop. there's the preppers then we're gonna go to the mines then we're done you guys get the gist say sleep we're gonna sleep oh hold on food don't want to leave the food out See if I can take that with me, it's fine. Sleep. No mail that day, it's fine. So we wake up, we're feeling good. Trading increases your preparedness. Ooh, look at my health, my hunger. Okay, we'll go over here real quick and we're gonna cook some. Blueberry smoothie. Oh, I put it in the fridge. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna make a bunch of them. Can't make anything with the mushrooms yet, though. I guess let me try to eat one. Let's see. Oh, they're pretty good. So we can make a bunch of blueberry smoothies. And these are pretty good. Oh, actually, we don't have to cook them one at a time. Maybe cook the next three. Just like that. Now, everything you do takes time, right? So once I click cook here, you can see that it's telling you time. Time's going away. So it takes an hour and a half to make three blueberry smoothies somehow. Um, so everything, crafting and digging and all that stuff, like you'll see the timer pop up at the bottom and it'll tell you. you know, it's like, has so much time is left to do this this uh, this deed, this thing. Uh, we're going to eat this. And then we'll go and drink these. I guess we'll drink a bunch of them. I guess we'll drink a bunch of them. Wow, and we'll take that one with us. Oh, boy. Now, I have some... Um, crap on me here that could sell. I think to you? No, you. No. Somebody here wants to buy this rotten stuff here. Man, oh, somebody does. Hold on a second. Usually it's at the top. It shows up. Maybe they don't want it right now. Hmm. Rotten food was something that was on this list, so I guess maybe it's just not something that anybody wants right this second. I, don't, I couldn't see why. I mean, jeez. All right. We have money, but we're not going to spend it right now. We're going to go to the mines. Hold up. I need fuel. <laughs> How much fuel do I have on me? Mm, five fuel. That's all I need. Uh, and I see these things are maybe ready to pick. Whatever. So this is a slow burn game. Very slow. Very, 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 very slow. Uh, again, like, this is going to appeal more to the point-and-clicker, point-and-click adventure folks than it is to the Fallout Shelter folks. Uh, now, because we have the ability to, um, or because we have, uh, two key cards here, we could go... Oh, crap. That was supposed to take me down level two. I think that works if you do that that way. Um, but yeah, we have a couple key cards we found while, while, while exploring. So this over here, it seems like each floor has one of these. You can basically recharge it. And I'm going to dump all my fuel in here. Uh, it takes four, so I'm going to have one extra. Maybe we'll get it on the way out. And inside of here is where it's going to dump a bunch of resources. So this is a great way to get a lot of resources, stuff you could sell and all that. This actually will probably fill me up. I could take it all the way back, but I'm not going to take it right now because we got to do some exploration. Um, we're going to take this down. There is a... Yeah, we got to get to that key in order to progress. There's also a couple chests. I didn't get all the chests here last time. Now, I think there might be, like, a headlamp or something that you can unlock later on. Um, yeah, we don't have to go that way. There's some mushrooms over there. And the mushrooms regrow, by the way. Okay. 
Is this the right one? Yes, it is. Okay, so it's going to take these things out. Combat's pretty simple. You can block, you control a block, or you can uh, just left click on them. It does. I haven't really run into any problems with uh, really even needing to block. So, not really worried about it. I was already here before. I just have didn't have the re- Oh, God, that's right. It's a bunch of fuel. I was going to say, I didn't have the weight to take it all. Let me go ahead and take it all and see. Oh, 56. That's not too bad. Can I place this on the ground, I wonder? Let me see if I could take it over here. That'd be great. If I could go up. And then place it on the ground up here next to the... I can't put it in the container. That container's a one-way street. All right, let's see. Inventory. We'll take this guy and we'll put it on the ground right here. No, no. I'll put it over here. You're not going to let me put it down? Oh, you bastard. Why? Fine. Can we charge this thing up? No. All right, fine. Well, we have half our weights now taken. <laughs> let's keep going down. Keep going down. We got to get to that key. Down. Now, there is some light mining. It's pretty easy. Just basically double click. You get a little spark, so it's kind of nice. You can see, okay, mine. Uh, so you can see the area if you're if it's like pitch black, like it is most of the time down here. Uh, I'm just going to take care of these guys. Let's get this guy over here. Is there a ladder here? Can't get there. Is there a ladder here? Sure is. Okay, we should probably get up here, right? Okay, cool. He passed himself. Ah, here we go. Yeah. Usually before you get it, there's going to be like a oh, Yeah, it's always rats. Uh, well, the fat past three have been. Or past two, rather. And it's usually in waves. Yep. Almost every encounter is like in waves. You'll get a couple first, and then you'll get a couple more. Good block. Good block. Ah. There we go. I get rat meat from that, too, by the way. Oh, you get much. Only one? Oh, crap. More rats. More rats. I, don't, I guess I don't have to like click, 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 click like crazy. You could just click once, it'll just do the work for you. Okay, grab. Now we can go to level three. Let me see if we can easily get out of here. I guess we just double click back here at the beginning and he'll make his one way. Zoom. Let's go and get in and see. Can we go down anymore? No. So now, now we've reached the end of this run, right? This uh, floor. And so we could hit this. We could go to level three now. Yeah, let's do it. Curious what's down here. Now there is an NPC down here, as well as ah, oh, look, perfect. Somewhere to spend that fuel. Like I said, there's one on every floor, so you could do this on every floor and get a ton of resources this way. Okay, good. Uh, what's he? What's in here right now? Mm, oh, he just started. Okay, so. But yeah, there is an NPC that um lives down here. I won't spoil the whole thing. I, I guess I already said it was Bob, so you get to find him. <laughs> oh. There's definitely like a miner's cap or something that you get later that you can... I mean, I'm just guessing. Let's see if we zoom out, see if we could find the... Oh, wow, we can't see shite. Whoa. Okay, wow, that's interesting. Let's go down. There's definitely a miner's cap. <laughs> Somewhere. Oh, God. We'll just go ahead and... Um, oh, there's some something here to chop away at. Let's go ahead and do this. We'll eat that. Wake us up a little bit. This will top us off. Let's go ahead and mine this. It's always rock, I think. Be a little sparky. You can kind of see his bats over here. Okay. Ideally, I'd like to find... Whoa, what was that? Was that iron? Oh, that was... Oh, amethyst. We got a little amethyst from that. We could sell these things. We might be able to use the craft later, but... Can't get there. Okay, let's go ahead and see. Let's hover our mouse here and see if there's anything that might be. Okay, so it's, it's probably gonna be up. Oh, you don't want to do it? Oh, he's trying to climb up. Get out of here. There we go. Good. So it's up thing. <laughs> this is like pitch black. Okay, we reach the end to the right. That's not, not down. Usually there's a chest or something up here. This is not the way we're supposed to do this. I'm certain of it. Uh-oh. Oh god, the key's over here. Do the rats glow? Please tell me they do. Oh, they totally do. Ah, this is so, this is so janky. <laughs> my, uh, oh, my pickaxe is about to break, actually. See, it's turning red in the corner there. Come on. Get 
Okay, that's it, right? My health is hurting so much. Okay, where's this key? What is this? Grab. Oh, this is coat. Hmm. Awesome. Bob's jacket. He asked me for his jacket, so he'll probably give me a pass to the next floor. He'll give me something. Something to progress the story, basically. I can't see the next money pass in here. I'll have to look for it elsewhere. Mm hmm. Either he's going to give me another pass, or he's going to give me. Um... Oh, gosh, my health is getting so low. Oh, God. Go, 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 go up. My repair is getting so low. I don't know what happens when this happens. Entrance. I can really use a snack. I have some berries. Do I have, wait, do I have berries on me? Uh, let me see. What can I eat for a snack? Oh, it wrapped me. I can eat just raw. Perfect. Okay. Okay, we'll get out of here. I don't think I need any more rat meat. <laughs> raw rat meat. You could cook that, too, if you want. <laughs> or eat it raw. But, dude, that's it. That's the game. Like, uh, that's the game. This is a game in a loop. There's a whole lot more. If you go and check out the, uh, the trailer for it, you'll see that there's a whole lot more you could do with building down here. Uh, it just takes an obscene amount of time to get there. Like I said, I am, uh, I'm three hours. I'm over three hours right now for sure. Um, in the game. And, you know, it's, it's getting to the point where it's kind of like, okay, cool. Well, it's a point and click adventure. I think I could go ahead and pitch this to folks and some folks might like it and some folks might not. Like I said, it's gonna be a very polarizing thing because, you know, visually it tells a lot of folks, like when I saw that, I was like, this looks jank. <laughs> <laughs> like this just looks jank. I don't want to play this thing for. Um, but then you start playing, and it's like, okay, there's a full game here. There's definitely a full game here for sure. Lots of like expansion possibilities and everything. It's not a sandbox though. A lot of what you're doing is very much um, set on a path. It's guided by tasks and quests and all that. So it's not like just pure sandbox. There is a lot of like survival elements, of course. Like, you know, you have to uh, not get caught by the by, by the feds. You have to, um, you know, oh dear, there's no mailman. Postman's missing. Um, there's some story that's unfolding as well, of course. With some of your neighbors and all this stuff. And uh, all the different other people that you're uh, reaching out to by trading and all that. So there's definitely a lot, there's a lot to this game. Um, it does have a very positive review on, uh, on Steam. However, it is also, um, their up, most up, uprated or upvoted, uh, reviews seem to be negative. So take with that what you will. Um, but for me, it's like, I could see this being appealing to the point and click crowd. Somebody who wants a mix between... You know, some kind of survival, fallout, shelter kind of thing, and also a point and click. Cool. Well, I made some rat meat. I'm gonna eat it all. Chomp, chomp. Can I eat this anyways? No, I can't. Oh, that sucks. Uh, oops, food's rotten. It's more things to take care of, more things to do, <laughs> to manage. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. The game is called Mr. Preppers. It's available now. Or Mr. Prepper, there's only one. Uh, it's available now on Steam, $19.99. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys later.